This is a video series refuting the talking points of Dr. Chris Rayner. As always, I'll allow Dr. Rayner to express himself and then I will respond. Reason number three, chiropractic manipulation is no better than physical therapy. That's right, you heard what I said. Chiropractic therapy when compared to physical therapy head to head is not more effective. While small studies have shown that chiropractic therapy is better than doing absolutely nothing, it is not better than doing conventional therapy, despite what your chiropractor may tell you. This means that chiropractic manipulation is not required for the resolution of mechanical back pain symptoms, period. All right, let's respond to some of these statements. I think what Dr. Rayner here is saying is that chiropractic and physical therapy are equal, therefore you should avoid the chiropractor and do physical therapy. If you wanna do it because it feels nice like a massage, then so be it, but you should not be left with the impression that it is actually doing something to your spine. Dr. Rayner has a lack of understanding of chiropractic research. This of course is what makes him such an expert. It's also known as the Dunning-Kruger effect. Here are some articles demonstrating the benefits of chiropractic care. As we've seen, there's lots of research validating the benefits of chiropractic, and yet there seems to be discrepancy between spinal manipulation affecting low back pain. Why is that? It has to do with research design. If we remember this study from the previous video, demonstrating there's a separation between the pain and the pain generator, and this study demonstrating that if we fix problems with the feet, it positively diminishes low back pain, also indicating that the pain and the pain generator are in separate locations. Let's take four theoretical patients. Each patient has low back pain, but the pain generator, in this extreme example, is in a separate location. One is in the feet, one is in the knees, one is in the cervical spine, and one is in the low back. In this extreme example, let's say that there are 25 participants of each group represented in this particular study. If these patients are treated globally, there's a high probability they will have a positive outcome. For over simplistic purposes in communicating an idea, let's say it's 100%. Now, if these same 100 participants went to a study where they were only locally treated in the lumbar spine. In this example, we'd have a 25% improvement. You can also see, depending on the variation of the participants, how it would change the outcome percentages. This is the difficulty in doing a study where you have a local adjustment without screening for the location of the pain generator. Hence the statement made by Dr. Rayner. While small studies have shown that chiropractic therapy is better than doing absolutely nothing. This is why patients have subjective experiences that are beneficial in decreasing the rates of their low back pain, but it's hard to quantify with a certain type of research design. All right, this is just another talking point that Dr. Rayner makes. It is not better than doing conventional therapy, despite what your chiropractor may tell you. Alternative therapies include chiropractic. Conventional therapies include physical therapy. Both groups do spinal manipulations and both groups are authorized to do physical therapy and work with muscles. Conventional therapy also includes pain medications or drugs. So let's watch Dr. Rayner make this statement one more time. Chiropractic therapy, when compared to physical therapy, head to head, is not more effective. It is not better than doing conventional therapy. So what he's saying is if you do spinal manipulations and muscle work with drugs and painkillers, that's more effective at knocking out pain than chiropractic. And that might be very true. Drugs are very powerful. One of the reasons a vast majority of patients seek out chiropractic care is because they're not interested in the use of medications to knock out pain. This is a real world example of a patient who had pain reduction with chiropractic and wanted to avoid the use of medications. I think it's just so good to have somebody understand exactly what I've been going through all these years, just like that, and know what to do. It's been, as you said, very emotional. And you go into doctors, telling them you're having this problem, that problem with everybody. Most persons want to give you medication. You just in a heartbeat did your little magic. And oh. awesome. It's <laughs> just one adjustment too, by the way. Okay. One last talking point. This means that chiropractic manipulation is not required for the resolution of mechanical back pain symptoms. 
No study has shown this to be true. Now, to my knowledge, are there any studies stating that physical therapy and or conventional therapy are required for the resolution of low back pain? I want you to hear this statement Dr. Rainer makes in another video. Let's think about it this way. As a surgeon, I am painfully aware of the risks involved in what I do. And before you lie down on the operating table, we will explore all other treatment options that may be available to you. But I have a suspicion that does not include chiropractic. Before you go under the knife, you should see physical therapists, massage therapists, do yoga, Pilates, meditation, stretching. Despite what Dr. Rayner may tell you, you should also try chiropractic because once you've been cut, surgery is a polite word for being cut, you cannot undo the anatomical changes the surgeon has introduced into your system. Dr. Rayner, once again, thank you for giving me the opportunity to respond to your videos.